look at this. Oh, they just they just fly in now at this point. So what's up, everybody? Another Sweet Saturdays here. We are on Sweet Saturdays, man, I want to say 10, something like that. And this is something cool. I've wanted to try one of these. I've never played one of these amps before. And, uh, a, you know, a huge idol of mine had used these. And I was like, man, I want to try one of these. You know, I just want to, I want to see, like, what all the hubbub is about. And let me tell you one thing. This thing rules, absolutely rules. Uh, I get it now. I understand why why this this guitarist made such a big deal and used them on you know tons of recordings and all that stuff. So uh, very excited about this one. We're also going to be announcing uh, who won the baritone. As always, I, got, I just wanna make sure you guys know, these videos are all sponsored by Sweetwater. All the gear we're giving away, this gear right here is all from Sweetwater. So a big old shout out. Thank you to Sweetwater. Check them out if you would. You can also find links to all the gear that I'm using today down below in the description. Those are affiliate links. Those are the main way to support these giveaways. And uh, yo, let's just get, what do we got here? What do we have? Well, obviously, obviously, oh, one of these days I'm gonna actually have something in the box and you guys aren't gonna be expecting it. But today, <laughs> that was so loud. Today is not that day. Today, I'm not gonna hold it because I got it all hooked up right here, but we are looking at the Supro 64 Reverb. And you might be like, what's that, man? Well, you're probably seeing B-roll right now. It is just this phenomenal sounding amp. Uh, I wanted the one with reverb because, I, I don't know, reverb equals life or something like that. Some kind of a you know mathematical equation because of science. But that's what we're looking at today. This thing has really, really just blown me away because I think that it sounds phenomenal. I wasn't really sure what to expect because a lot of times you get these little amps and I'm like, yeah, I've played eight inch speaker amps before and they just kind of, they sound like an eight inch speaker. They sound small. Man, I plugged this thing in and it just filled the room. I'm like, there's no way that this thing, and then it has a gain knob on it, so you, you'll see what it's all about, man. You got a 12AX7 in the preamp, 6V6 in the, uh, what's the power amp section of it. Lots of outputs. I'm actually gonna use this thing into my two notes uh, to make miking it up and being able to, you know, actually reach the knobs and all that stuff a little bit easier on me. So that's how we're gonna be running this. And uh, if you wanna check these out, you can, like I said, it's all linked down below in the description. Full specs are down below and let's just go ahead and just dive on into this thing. I'm just gonna end up jamming on that all day. So tell me, what first impression? Do you not dig the way this thing sounds? I'll give you the signal path here in just a second, but man. So when we were looking at these Supro amps, uh, there was another one that I was looking at and it's just out of stock and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, what about these? And um, my issue is that I've played amps with an eight inch speaker before and they always just sound so small, but inside I'm like, hey, Jimmy Page used all, he loved these little combos, those little Valcos, the combo amps, you know, obviously Page very famously used a Supro. And I was like, I wanna try one. I've never played a Supro, I wanna try one. I plugged this thing in, it sounds, I would almost think that it's a 12 inch speaker in there. It sounds so big in the room. So super impressed with that, it's only five watts. So, I mean, you can crank this thing up. I wanted to use it in a slightly different way because on the back, there are all kinds of different like, just inputs and outputs on it. I was like, oh, I didn't even know the amp had all this stuff. So I was trying to run it into my two notes. So I've got an eight inch speaker on there and you can change the room sound and all that stuff if you want to, but I'm just running a real basic setup so I can crank the volume up on this thing and it not be, you know, you know, crazy, like even five watts, five watts tube is still loud when you're in a little room like this. So I'm running um, straight from the guitar, this is my, my gold, gold top, into the Supro, into the two notes torpedo live so it is digitally emulating microphones in a cabinet for me so uh, i am bypassing the speaker that's in it but the speaker that's in it is a real nice jensen and it sounds great i was just like well just miking it with that 57 just wasn't doing it justice and this sounds much more like it does in the room to me uh, i'm going to use a couple different guitars uh, most of the stuff i'm using like this this particular gold top I'm just going to link to you know gear equivalents that are like modern versions of some of this stuff. So if you want to check all that out, 
the links to all the gear, the affiliate links, that's the main way to support these giveaways. So if you want to keep going with them. So anyways, let's hear this thing a little bit more. You got a 12AX7 and a 6V6 in it. <laughs> And I figured today, yo, we're not avoiding copyright. We're looking it right in the eye. You might be wondering why I'm not using my other Les Paul. Uh, the switch started going out on it, so the neck pickup wasn't working. I was like, ah, well, to get that page sound, I gotta use, gotta use something that I can get that middle position. And, and the gold top was the only other, only other true choice for me in the Les Paul realm. <laughs> So since I'm running this into my two notes, I have the volume almost, I'm not going to say dimed, but it's probably on like eight. Uh, reverb is a little past noon, it's at around 11. I love the reverb on it. If you want to hear it without all the reverb, let me turn the reverb off for just a second. <laughs> So we're just gonna we're gonna keep it on. We're keeping the reverb on. Man. There we go. It just sounds so like just beastly, but it's not like overly distorted. I have the distortion probably on like nine and a half. This is about, you know, all the distortion you're gonna get out of this thing, and it's just so just crystal clear. How can I be over here gabbing about, you know, Page and all this stuff and not play a Telecaster? So, a little bit different. This is my old Esquire. Um, it, kind of similar to what Page would have been using. You know, his uh, Telecaster was, I believe, a 59. Of course, it was a top loader. Uh, mine's 58. But the pickups would be very similar. You know, that, that's a little bit of variance going on there. But um, still, you know, it has that Page sound to it. Release his bridge sound. Just color me impressed. I had a little bit of doubt, but I was like, you know, I got to give it a chance because obviously Paige saw something in these little, little combo amps, and I get it. It sounds incredible, super focused. I like the, you know, how tight it is. <laughs> Heavy gauge strings hurt when I just bent that string. 
All right, now let's see who won. Who won that baritone? It's right there behind the camera. I ran out of spots here for the guitars I was going to use, so uh, it's chilling behind the camera. But it, it does still exist. It is still still there, baritoning it up. And the winner is who who's, uh, asked you guys to pick your favorite clean tone. And uh, you guys, tons of great answers. Some, some players I hadn't even thought about. But this answer was, Chris Buck's clean tone is absolutely insane. How vocally he plays it unnatural to me. And yeah, I, I agree with you, man. Amazing clean tone. Uh, Clayton Franklin, you just won that sweet, sweet baritone, dude. I hope you enjoy the guitar. I'll respond to your original comment. And uh, hopefully we can get out to you real soon. And then you'll be baritone. You'll be over there like, bah, 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 bah. that's what you do when you have a baritone, apparently. Bah, 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 bah. And uh, let's talk about how you can win this Supro now. All right, so if you want the Supro amp, if you've been digging on the tones, I'll switch guitars and play a little bit more here in just a second. But if you want to win this thing, all you have to do is, first thing, you gotta subscribe, you have to be a subscriber, and two, you have to leave a comment answering this question. Because obviously I've been talking about Jimmy Page a lot, you know, in this one. So let me know, what is your favorite Led Zeppelin riff, or song, riff, whatever it is, only pick one, and uh, that's it. And then we'll pick a winner next week. And uh, just uh, one thing I want to throw out there to make sure people know, please do not leave links in your comments. Like, I appreciate you wanting to show me the song, but uh, that flags it as spam. So make sure that you don't leave that in the comment section. Just, you know, like I said, just leave a normal comment. Don't leave your email. Don't leave links and all that stuff. Just, like I said, the comment of what your favorite Zeppelin riff is. And then uh, next week we'll pick the winner. And I will be seeing you there. All right, back to the one. Alrighty, gang, that'll be it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, man, that was like an aggressive point. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, huge shout out to Sweetwater. Make sure you check out all their stuff. They have tons of ways you can pick up this gear if you want to. I know typically uh, I get most of my gear from Sweetwater and I'm always rocking the three easy pay and then they started doing the six easy pay, which, uh, yeah, I do that too now. That's how I bought this thing. <laughs> I bought the SG on the 6 Easy Pay. So, other than that, I'm gonna bounce out of here, guys. Thank you again, Sweetwater. Thanks to you guys for watching these. I'm excited. We got some cool stuff coming up for you here in the next couple weeks, including maybe next week. It is, I think, the best pedal that has ever been made. Uh, they're super versatile. It is, um, you know, that alone would have been a great giveaway, but we're gonna include something else with it. So, Let's, well, I, I'll tell you more about that next week. So, other than that, guys, have a good rest of your day. Woo!